Hey, welcome back my friends. Mark Thomas, Home Builder. Today I'm reviewing the Works 56 volt battery powered leaf blower. All right, there's two things I could say that summarize this. Number one, it's lightweight. And number two, it's very powerful. All right, that about summarizes it. Oh, you wanna learn more? Okay, stay tuned. Let's go through the full in-depth review. I think it's pretty awesome. I love the colors of it. Nice black and orange. Just cool, bold letters. 465 CFM. Pretty awesome. So here's the setup. Uh, shipped to me, and all I had to do is attach this piece and this piece. It clips on, so uh, this is the battery. I had to charge that. It's a 90 minute charge time. So let's get a closer look, and I'll go through the specs. Here's the unit itself. It weighs 8.1 pounds, has a three year warranty on it, it has a turbine fan technology. And I'll show you a quick look. Actually, let's look, see if you can see inside the back of it. You can see there's a little fan inside. And then it blows through and some fins that kind of twist the air. This actually, the orange part, the air doesn't move through that. It moves through the inner part there where there's, it's like a twist. When the air goes through, it kind of twists it like a tornado. It has multi-speed control. Okay, so when you go to turn it on, it's got a little beep noise. Hear that little beep? Do it again. I guess it just lets you know that it's turning on, so like make sure you have a good hold of it, because it is pretty powerful. So. You can run it. That's the low setting. All right, so the advertisements, it's lightweight, it's ergonomic. You can easily do one-handed operation. Okay, so I'll talk about the motor. It's a brushless motor. I don't know if you're an expert or not on that, but brushless is like a top of the line, more of a commercial grade. So it's made for everyday use, that's brushless. The non-brushless is made more like for residential, like a homeowner type thing. So when you're buying this, having that three year warranty and being brushless, I'd say that you can really be confident that this is gonna hold up for a long time for you. Okay, so this comes with a charger. Here's a good look at the battery. Lithium ion, you can see that. It's really not too heavy. I'm surprised I, oh, you know, I didn't even see this. That's kind of cool. I haven't had this very long. So you can push that button down. You can see how charged it is. So I've run this probably for about five minutes, maybe, since it's been fully charged. So like five straight minutes anyways. So it still has a fair amount of life left in it. Nice. Normally when I, for storage on a tabletop like that, it won't roll or tip over. It has a nice little level platform. And you can hang it on your wall. It's got that right there where you could put a, probably like a 16 penny nail or a screw or a small lag bolt, something like that would fit in there. Maybe not so much a lag bolt, but for sure a 16 penny nail. And here's the advertisement card that came with it, showing work on the sidewalk, one-handed operation. They make a chainsaw, line trimmer, hedge trimmer, a lawnmower, multi-speed plus turbo boost. And when you do kick that turbo boost, you can really hear it, that wind just really whipping through there. Dynamic airflow intake design. It's really large in the back like you've seen, so it will suck in a lot of air. High capacity air nozzle, and it has the turbine, which I showed inside there where it will twist like a tornado as it's coming out, so it's more effective. High capacity air volume with turbine fan technology. So let's show how this works in actual use. Okay, I'm clearing off my basketball court area. A lot of leaves and grass clippings where I just mowed. And it's nice to not have to dribble in that stuff and have a clean court so you're not slipping and sliding when you're rutting and cutting underneath the hoop. All right, here's the sidewalk area. 
Just showing you how quick and easy you can clear the grass and leaves off of it. And here's out by the road. I don't know if you ever see people that mow their ditches and they just leave tons of grass in the road. I like to clean that off. And I'm doing about a hundred foot path here. And you can just see I'm just walking at a pretty good pace. And it just seems to clear the grass off pretty quick. Not bad, huh? Okay, so I decided to put a decibel meter on it. It gets up to about 95. My two-stroke backpack blower gets up to about 105, so much quieter. Okay, so I just want to talk about a few advantages of running lawn equipment that's battery powered. So, with the instructions that I read, charging the battery, they say once it's charged, you should take it out of the charger. You don't want to leave it in there for days and days and days. It's um, not recommended. When you're running uh, gas powered lawn equipment, power equipment, it's a good idea not to keep the gas longer than two months. One of the advantages of having the battery is you don't have to mix the fuel, you don't have to buy a special like two gallon container to keep it in, and you don't have to buy the oil to keep mixing in it. All you have to do is just charge this battery from time to time and you're good to go. When it's an electric motor that runs off an extension cord, then you have to purchase, if you don't have them already, long enough cords to go everywhere. You have all that time untangling them and after you're done to wind them back up. Or you could also risk cutting them if you have like a chainsaw or a hedge trimmer or a line trimmer or something like that. So I am really sold on the lithium ion battery charge units. So I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. What do you think? Have you tried battery operated units, especially something this size, 56 volt? I find that the battery doesn't weigh that much and overall it's lightweight ergonomic and I think it's very powerful I don't feel like um, it's let me down so please check out my next videos coming up pretty soon I have a gutter kit that attaches to this and we'll go through and blow the leaves out of the gutters it's gonna be a few more weeks before some leaves fall so stay tuned for that please subscribe if you haven't done so yet I hope you find this interesting if you do please give me a thumbs up it would really help support my channel thanks for watching my friends See you next time. All right, if you enjoy this video, you may enjoy a few other ones that I made. Uh, the one on the top I made a couple years ago, it's a backpack blower shootout video comparing three different model backpack blowers. And below that is a forestry tool. It's the Oxenkopf Big Ox Mall. It's for splitting the big rounds, splitting your firewood. So I hope you enjoy those too. And if you haven't noticed, check me out on Twitter and Instagram. Hit me up there and click on that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so yet. All right, enjoy those videos. See you next time.